and welcome to Learn English with Ricky Gervais. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Carl Pilkington. Hi. I won't be speaking your language. I won't be translating what I say. I'll just be speaking English, OK? The translation will come up on the bottom of the screen. This is my friend, Carl Pilkington. He is bold. He is bold. He has no hair. Carl Pilkington has no hair. Yeah, I know. They can see I've got no hair. No, I know. Well, what, what do they need to know that for? If they learn a, a language, yeah. bald isn't a, a bald head isn't isn't that important. Teach them how to ask for bread or milk. We'll get to that. But this is about sort of friendship and family, you know. So it's all useful. There's so many words, you know, they might as well start somewhere. There's too many words. There's a lot of words. A lot of words. <laughs> so you say it. Carl Pilkington is bold. Carl Pilkington has got a head like a fucking orange. Right, I, I really don't know why they need to learn this. Because they might need to say that one day. No, but I get enough abuse now from English people. I don't want Chinese suddenly turning up going, oh, fucking orange. <laughs> Teach them how to say milk. I need milk. Milk for tea. Coffee. Teach me useful stuff. OK, well, do, well, 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 go on, teach them something then. Who am I talking to? People around the world, they can't speak English yet. So what are they... Well, so, Chinese, Chinese well, doesn't are it do, OK, what? I've been to China and none of them know English. Right. So they need to learn English. OK. So um, what would they want to know? You see, they don't need to know about milk because they don't like milk. They think English people smell of milk. They smell of milk. <laughs> smell. What does smell mean, Carl? Smell. Um, stink. Fucking hell, you smell. <laughs> Rank. 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 So you've got a Chinese fella, he's coming over here and he's learned the word rank, meaning you stink. Smell. Stank. Stunk. <laughs> that stunk. <laughs> Give an example. Um, you smell. You shit. <laughs> Why are you teaching them? Because you that? told me you said they want to know about smell. Yeah, right. But why are you teaching them without prepositions and proper grammar? Why are you teaching them to speak like this? Mmm, stink, you shit. Why are you teaching them... To speak, uh, to just speak proper English. Right, OK, then. Um, Always speak proper English. OK, tell them. Um, so what, what do they want to know? Well, what's, what smell mean? This, okay, smell. This is about, so we're featuring okay, the word okay, right, smell. Right. Smell. This is about the word smell. Right, when something smells, they know what it means. It's when something um, stinks, when it's well, no, off. It doesn't always mean that. Because it's, it's also a oh, verb. Oh, right, a nice smell. It's also a verb to smell. It's a verb. Smell is a verb. Yes, but what they've got to remember is if they go up to someone and go, you smell, it's not always positive. You right. wouldn't... You, you, you say, you smell nice. Right. But if you say, you smell, they'll get a smack in the face. Smack in the face. Smack in the face. Carl, what's a smack in the face? When someone thumps you. Thump. <laughs> English lesson ever. Right, OK. Um, do you... <laughs> OK. What would they want to let you see? That's why we've got to focus on... Are we focusing on Chinese? No. Well, Just... we should, because different people want different things. Right. So what would Chinese want? They come to England. Right. What do they want? Why are you talking to me like I can't understand Because English I'm now? trying to think how, what to be clear to them. OK. So I'm okay. dropping out. So forget where they come from. Wherever they come from in the world, 
They all want the same things. No, okay. but, but words don't mean the same thing. At certain places, there's people where it stinks in the world. They wouldn't come to England and need to say it smells because they're from a smellier place. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> milk. Let's do milk. OK, let's do milk for anyone who isn't English. OK, OK, I'll, I'll um... OK. We will act out a scenario now where you might need milk. OK. Hello, Carl. All right. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, strong. What tea bags have you got? <laughs> that is a that is a that is a question I ask <laughs> because it all depends on the amount of milk. Do you have Thai foo? That means more milk. Thai foo does not mean more milk. No, it's a very strong tea bag. Right. Twinings, little bit. This of isn't, they don't need to know the details. This isn't a travel guide. This is just, this is English for people right, who start can't speak. Start again. Then. Okay. Hello, Carl. Oh, yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love one. I'm gasping. How do you like it? Strong, no sugar. Tea bag, okay? What? Yeah, tea bag, yeah. Oh, that should be all right. Would you like some milk? Just a drop. A drop, not much. Would you like semi-skimmed milk? Yeah. Skim semi-skimmed milk. Whoa. It's all right, that. Carl is enjoying his tea. He had it strong with a drop of milk. So that's the basics uh, uh, in England. We like to drink tea. We drink tea. We also drink coffee. We also drink beer. Let's go shopping. So uh, I'll, I'll just come into a shop again. Okay. Drink. Afternoon. Hello. Oh, yeah. I want a fish. What sort of fish do you want? We've got loads. What sort of fish are there? Loads. I haven't got time, to be honest. You've come in at a busy time. And did, have a look and come back to me. And I don't know what... What type of fish is this? That's a, a kipper. OK. A kipper. What's a kipper? Chinese and Japanese know fish really well. Okay. They don't need, need Stop. to... Thinking we're just talking to Chinese and Jap I don't know where the Japanese came. It's, it's, it was just Chinese people. This is for anyone who wants to learn English anywhere around the world. They might be Spanish. They might be French. They might be German. Okay. Why do you only care about the Chinese learning about this? Because most Spanish people can speak English. They've been taught it. But right. all right, kipper. Okay. It's a fish. It's sort of um, a fishy sort of fish. There's some fish that's more meaty. Tuna. What sort of thing are you after today? Is this for you or for someone else? This is for me. I'd like to buy a fish, please. Right, but, you've, but surely you know what kipper is. Look at it. Look at the fish. Here it's called kipper. Where are you from? I don't speak English. I'd just wrap any old shit up and give it... <laughs> you like this. Tenor. Rip you off. Because I'm busy, and that's what happens in this country. That's what they want to be careful of if they're watching this. If you come into England, don't be ripped off, rip off, conned, taken advantage of. Um, done up like a kipper. Done up like a kipper. Look at this foreigner. I done him up like a kipper. This is when English gets complicated because kipper... A lot of English words can mean many things. Um, where? Where? Same word, different thing. Wearing. Where have you been? I'm wearing a jumper. Where have you been? Where?
Brilliant. One word, two meanings. At the spa. Hello, I'd like to book an appointment for a treatment. Okay, when are you, um, when are you thinking? Um, We're busy all today. Tomorrow? Can we just do it today? Can it just be available now? Can't we just do it that it's available now? There's nothing, it's... Well, it's... all right, I can fit you in. Someone hasn't turned up yet, so we can get you in sort of in 10 minutes. Okay. Right. Okay. <clears throat> what would you like? Um, I would like a back crack and sack waxing, please. I would like my back waxed, my crack waxed, and my sack waxed. Right. Do you do the treatments yourself? No. I'd like you to. Well, I can't. Why not? Because I have to be on reception, taking calls. Well, OK. You can't request who's doing your sack, your crack, <laughs> or your back. There's a woman in the back who does your crack. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> fucking insane. Right, that's enough. Wait, isn't it? No, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know who's going to learn anything. Wait, from wait, this. wait, wait. Okay. So, okay, right. Okay. Okay. Well, ask me some questions. Right. Okay. Well, I, I don't okay. have to ask you any questions. I said okay. you can be going in 10 minutes. Okay. I'm not doing it. Um, I'm a worker. Actually... I'm not paid or qualified to be sorting your Wait, ass wait. Out. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> actually, thinking about it, the hair on my crack hasn't grown back, nor has the hair on my back. But my sack is very hairy. Wait, my sack is very hairy. Um, I, I don't need my back waxed or my crack waxed, but I need my sack waxed. Right. Now, I'm surprised you haven't done it yourself because it's the back and the crack that's the difficult bit. The sack you can do yourself. Oh. And to be honest, it should all be growing at the same time. No. So there's something wrong with you. No. You've got a hairy bollock. <laughs> when your back, is, your back is lovely and bald. Right. You don't need it doing... Bald. Bald. Fuck's my, sake. my back is bald. Yeah. My crack is bald. My sack needs waxing. Right. Um, right. It's quite an emergency. My balls are very hairy. Can I have them waxed, please? Yes. How much just for the balls? <laughs> Fifteen pounds. For Fifteen two. pounds for the both. For two. Okay, yes. that's good. So seven fifty each. It's seven fifty. Yeah, but we don't split it. That's that's the price. Yes. Yes. You can't have one done. No, it's I have 15 two. Pounds. I have two balls. I have two balls. How many balls do you have, Carl? Two. Carl has two balls. Are your balls hairy? Average. Okay. Which is strange because Carl's balls are hairy, but he is bald on his head. His head looks like a ball. His head looks like a bald testicle. Carl has a head like a bald testicle, but his testicles aren't bald. Okay. How long will it take to wax my balls? Uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So it's um, fifteen pounds and ten minutes. Um, can you do it? Can you can you do it now, please? No, I won't be doing it. You'll Why? be meeting Leslie in the back room. Uh, oh, I don't really. I'm a little bit shy. I know you. Could you? You don't know me. You've just turned up. Could you wax my balls? No, I'm not waxing your balls. Bollocks. Uh, scrotum. Um. What else is the test eye? <laughs> if you're having one done. <laughs> Bollocks. Sack. <laughs> uh, oh. What else is this? Oh. Okay, okay, right, we've done, done that waxing. Okay. At the doctor's. Hello, doctor. Hello. I have a pain. Okay, what's where, whereabouts is the pain? My anus. Of course it is. <laughs> None of this is worth using learning in a language. You go home. If you're ill, go home. No, if, 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 
a foreign fella is in this country he and can they... go to the doctors and use our, 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 our NHS system if he had an achy ass. He'd get on the first flight home. Why aren't you going travelling? You're here as a tourist. Yes. yes. Right, we'll see London. Instead of worrying about your airy bollocks, see the London Eye. The London Eye. <laughs> Tower of London. These are things that are going to be useful to them. Okay. Tower of London. London Eye. Buckingham Palace. The Queen. I've never been on holiday and had to have my anus seen to. I haven't had to have it seen to whilst I'm here, at home. Give them useful words. Fromage. Why are you teaching them a French word if we're teaching them English? I'm just saying useful phrases. Right. Uh, I've got a headache. Um, OK. What would you do, OK? What scenario would you do to teach them? Who Carl are you? will now teach you a useful scenario. Yeah, who are you? Any, anyone you want me to be. What do you want to do? The bins haven't been emptied. Who, uh, and, and, okay. Who are you? You're making this scenario up. This so, is who, your... so who are you then, the council? It's up to you. Right, you're my neighbour. Okay. Why do you keep putting bins out? The bin men doesn't come till Thursday. You keep putting bins I'm out. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm very sorry. I've had a bit of trouble. I woke up this morning and it's the worst it's ever been. I've got all this stendies. I've got a prolapse left. I've just tended. My testicles are very, very low because I'm old. I'm lactating. Yeah, the, all right. Listen, can you just put the bins out on a Thursday? I can't put the... Put my, your my balls yeah. are so low because I'm an old man. But can you put the bins out on a third? The bin men doesn't come till a Thursday, it's Tuesday. You're putting bins out too early, there's foxes getting at them, there's shit all over the place. There's dirty underpants you keep putting in the bin. I've told you, it attracts foxes. Stop putting the fucking bins out through two fucking days early when they've got to sit there and it attracts you. I'm trying to sell me flat. There's dirty, shitty undies all over the fucking pavement. Mm. This has happened to you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, it has. What did you they do? They don't give a shit. They don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> we hope that's been useful for you. So when you visit England, you can talk just like an Englishman. Thank you for learning English with Ricky Gervais and Carl Pilkington. See ya. See ya.